I'm Dave. And I'm Casey from Tiger King's Mail Sim. Today we're going to be comparing the ANK uh, PKM and the GMP Stoner 63. Starting with the ANK PKM, from rear to front, you have your shoulder rest built in that flip up. You have a twist out front side adjuster. There is no rear sling point on this gun, so what we've decided to do is zip tie, just a zip tie around this that we clip our sling onto. You have your access to your gearbox, the top of your gearbox, and your rotary style hop up. On this side of the weapon, you have your fire select, which flips between safe and full auto. There's no semi option on this weapon. You have your uh, 5,000 round box mag, which also houses your battery. The battery uh, runs into the gun and then runs back out to the box mag and powers the box mag. It also allows the box mag to be controlled by the trigger unit or by sound. Forward of that, you have your rate of fire select, so you can increase or decrease your rate of fire mechanically. Forward of that, you have your bipod. Right behind your bipod you have on the left side of the gun one sling mount. The sling mount is too small to actually mount a sling to, so we have put a key ring on here, which allows us to clip our sling to. You have your front sight and then your muzzle. So to go over some of the basics of the GMP Stoner 63, it's a Vietnam era gun uh, based on the real Stoner 63. Uh, it wasn't fielded too much uh, in the Vietnam conflict, but it was occasionally fielded by uh, the Navy. The gun itself has a large battery compartment in the stock that can hold a 9.6 volt battery, um, probably from 4,000 to 5,000 milliamps. It's made of steel and it has a latch here that gives you access to your hop up and your compartment where it feeds the BBs in. It's gravity fed. You have a flip up sight that can be adjusted here for elevation, windage. And you also have your um, 1,200 round capacity magazine, um, and the battery that's inside of it is a 9 volt battery, so it does not have one battery powering the entire gun. In the front you have just a standard handguard made of polymer. You have a mock charging handle, which um, is like the real one, but has no function on the actual gun. And you have your front sight, and birdcage flash hider. So the ANK PKM has a couple of things that we like about it. We like the 5,000 round box mag capacity. We like the fact that it's a medium machine gun with a built-in bipod. Now, so there are some downsides to it. The first is that because it's a medium machine gun, it's incredibly heavy. It's not practical to fire while standing, really. It's only practical to fire while supported or prone. We've also broken the bipod on this gun on the first time that we fielded it. It was a relatively easy fix, but it's still a downside. A few things that we like about the Stoner 63 is the fact that it can hold a giant battery in the, um, in the stock. That it has a great rate of fire out of the box. It shoots about 20 BBs a second on a 9.6 volt battery. Um, it has semi-automatic fire in addition to, to um, full automatic. And overall, it's, its size, it's not too large like the PKM where you can take it into multiple environments and it's also accurate and has decent range for how small it is. It's about the same size as the standard carbine length M4. In addition to the physical differences between the PKM and the Stoner, there's some mechanical differences as well. The PKM has a version 8 gearbox that, while being more robust and designed specifically for a higher rate of fire and a sustained rate of fire, is a lot harder to upgrade than the Stoner. They both have rotary style hop ups. The ANK has a, a significantly longer in inner barrel. Uh, the, the GMP Stoner 63 features a version 2 gearbox that is uh, si very similar to just a standard GMP version 2 gearbox. The only modification to it is the trigger mech is a little bit different. It features a M14 style trigger for it. It also has a rotary style hop up, but this one is polymer compared to the ANK, which has a metal 
rotary hop up. Both of these guns are used on Tyrant Kings, and both of them serve a different purpose within our team. The stoner is mostly used for for like assaulting. It's it's a lot lighter, it's a lot easier to carry around uh, to get into buildings. You can use it in town and urban environments since it can shoot semi-automatic. While compared to the PKM, which usually is used while prone or in a standing position, uh, not moving around, giving us some support on the field. So Dave, if you were to take either one of these on the field, which one would you prefer to use all the way around? For an all-around weapon system, when I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing, I would definitely use the stoner. But if I know that I'm going to be providing, say, Overwatch, or if we're going to be in a sustained heavy firefight, I'd much prefer the a &K for the sustained rate of fire, the larger ammo capacity, and the longer range. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think that, that this gun might perform a bit better in terms of rate of fire. It might be a little more intimidating uh, against a different force. But I think that um, overall, if you want to have some sus like sustained fire, the PKM might be better for outdoor games. I'm Dave. I'm Casey. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I wish we brought like a fucking grill. Can we bring a fucking grill next year? It gets wet. Have you ever seen wet paper? You idiot. Push with the technical. Yep, do it. Go, 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 go. Clean through, Brian. Clean through. I got you. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Keep fucking pushing.